Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Uh, I've been asked many times from many friends to make a video about using the scan tool. Uh, that's why today I'm making this video to show you guys how to diagnose the car using the scan tool. And this video, in this video, I will show you how to connect the scan tool, how to select the car, how to select the model, how to read and erase the fault codes, and uh, how to leave, uh, how to read the live data. Uh, what is the special function and couple of uh, uh, other functions so this video would be helpful for the beginners who uh, haven't used the scan tool before so you will have the step-by-step -step, uh, you will have the step-by-step -step guide to connect your scan tool and do the diagnostic okay so this is my scan tool today so you may have different one doesn't really matter because diagnostic procedure will be exactly the same so I need to connect this uh, interface to the OBD, which is down here. Okay, so I need to connect it down there. And I turn the ignition on. So my car today is a Nissan Tida. So first of all, I need to select my car. Then, so I go to diagnose menu to select my car. So I have a list of different cars. I can filter it from up here for, so I have American, European, Asian, and Chinese cars. So I have all here as well. So if I filter it on Asian cars, it's gonna be easier for me to find my car. So I scroll down to find Nissan, which is here. Then I need to press submit. Sometimes for some scan tool, you have to enter the VIN number as well. So you can find the VIN number in your car and enter it again. It's not a big deal. You just find the uh, VIN number and enter enter the VIN number in the scan tool so wait a little bit until your scan tool is connected i have automatically search uh, for that one i need to insert the uh, VIN number because i just selected to the nissan but for selecting the uh, model i can't go for the automatically search so a scan tool tries to uh, find the car automatically if i go there see i need to input the VIN number uh, the other way is just manually select. If I go for manually select, I have regions. I go for the Oceania. Uh, Oceania, you can select your region accordingly and Australia. So you have a list of different models here. Scroll down to find your car. Mine is Nissan Tida hatchback today. C11 and you have different time period I go for 2009 so you have a couple of options here uh, the first one is health report so if you go for the health report if you just service your car and you want to check all the systems to see if you have any fault code or not to erase them all you can just click on the health report so if you click on the health report you don't need to select the systems one by one system will check all the systems and it will all, and it will read all the fault codes and if there is any it will show it will show the fault code to you so see i already have one fault code in the engine and see this uh, progress it shows me uh, the health report progress abs nothing meter nothing bcm no fault code i just have one fault code in the engine so far i need to wait for this progress to reach 200 percent No more file code yet. If you see something like this for the lamp levelizer, it means that you don't have this system on your car. Okay, no file code. It means you don't have the file code, but not equipped. It means you don't have that system in the car. Okay, well, all good, all done. So I just have one file code. Uh, so I have two ways to erase the file code. I can press enter to connect to the engine, then I can erase the file code, or I simply can erase erase it from here so it's better if you have uh, different fault codes you may if you have multiple fault codes in different systems you can erase them all together from here from in clear dtc if i press that one are you sure to clear all system fault memory yes so system is just trying to erase the fault code but you you need to make sure that uh, 
that fault is already fixed because obviously if the fault is active even if you erase the fault code it's going to come up again okay so i don't have anything right now on the engine but we will we will check it later to see if that fault already went away the other thing is system selection so i have some other options i try to make another video to explain all those options as well on the second episode i'm i'm just trying not to make this one really complicated for everyone so uh every everyone who hasn't had any experience on the scan tool can use this one as well so system selection if you go for it you can find the systems and you can diagnose all the systems individually like engine abs for brake system meter uh, bcm for body control module airbag transmission eps for electronic power string ipdm for the fuse box i have all the options here but it when I have all these options, it doesn't mean that I have all these options in the car as well. Do you remember when uh, we were checking the health report for some options like headlamp stabilizer? It was mentioned not equipped. It means that we don't have that system in the car. I have all these options here, okay? But it doesn't mean I have all these options in the car as well. You only can connect to those systems which are available in your car. So for example, engine, if I go for the engine, Wait for the connection. Okay, so see I have more options in here to diagnose the engine. So I have the read fault codes. I can read the fault codes again here. So we, we already erased the fault code in the health report, but, but we have it again. It means that this fault is active. So even if you erase the fault code, it's gonna come up. So unless you repair the fault code. So for clear fault code, we can erase it from here as well. You can just simply click on that and go for erase. Clear fault code completed. But if, if we go for read fault code again, see, we already have the fault. It means that fault is active and we need to fix it before trying to erase it again. Read data stream is all the live data you have in the car because obviously you have uh, many, many sensors in, for example, for this one, because we are troubleshooting the engine, you have different engine, you have different uh, sensors in the engine. So all those sensors are sending the signal to the ECM. So ECM shows uh, those signals to you as well, just uh, in case you need them for troubleshooting the car so on many on different scan tools you may have different naming here this one is data stream you may have live data you may have uh, parameters you may have current data so if i click on this one we can select between ecu input signals main signals selection from the menu if i go for the ecu input signals i have i i will have a list of input signals to the ecu so I can use all the signals to diagnose the car, like the battery voltage, like the engine speed, uh, signal from the coolant temperature sensor down here, or I can just turn the pages. Uh, heaps of other signals, like the signals from the O2 sensor, from the mass airflow sensor, they are all here. So I can use these signals based on the fault that I, the, based on the fault that I have, I can troubleshoot the car because sometimes I don't have the fault code or even if I have the fault code, I can just use the live data to get some more idea about uh, engine operation. Actuation test, uh, using the actuation test, you can actuate uh, some actuators in the car, in the engine. You may have uh, different options here based on the engine uh, and based on the ECU type. So you can activate the different components to make sure if they are working or not like the, for the cooling fan you can activate the cooling fan in high speed and low speed if i show you uh for the cooling fan you, you can operate it in high speed and low speed so if you press high cooling fan should be operating should be running at the high speed and low speed shows you here so if you click on the low speed you see low is here and uh I already hear that the cooling fan is running at low speed as well and off is going to turn the cooling fan off you can operate it at the high speed as well 
So obviously for any actuation test that, that you are uh, doing, you need, to, you need to see that that component is working as well. Like the, for the fuel pump relay, you need to see that fuel pump relay is uh, activating and you should be here in the fuel pump uh, operation as well. So you have a list here, you may have different uh, items, you may have more items based on the ECM. So it's not really a bad idea to check this option to, to see what you got. Uh, module information is giving you some uh, information about the engine control module. And a special function is for many special functions that you may have in the car. So this one could be different as well. Uh, so uh, a special function. So see for here, we, I have fuel pressure release. I have idle volume learn. So I have different options here. Based on the ECM, you may have ECM reset or ECM adaptive value reset. Uh, so after repairing the end, uh, after uh, replacing some important sensors, uh, I need to do the adaptive reset. I don't have it here. I have some other options like for after replacing the throttle body uh, on this car, I need to perform the idle air volume learn. Uh, otherwise, engine RPM will be fluctuating all the times as well. So these uh, special functions are really, really important uh, after repairing the engine, after replacing the ECM or after repla replacing some uh, component like the throttle body, you may need to do some special functions that you can find it from this menu. The next option after the special function is freeze frame. So you can record, you can have the information about some falls, some intermittent falls when they happened. Uh, so for example, if you are driving, some fault is happening, you can uh, record, the, rec you can have the recorded information and data for the time that that fault happened, so you can use it for the diagnostic. Another option that you may have is the function test. I will try to explain this one in another video because it's just for uh, another steps, another step for diagnostic. Uh, you may have some other options for uh, testing the car, like for car computer uh, diagnostic, for confirmation test, for mixture ratio test, uh, so, so sensor software test. So you may have some other options here. I will try to explain them all in another video so uh, uh, I can go through them one by one and, ex and explain all of them in detail. And another option, DTC confirmation. You won't see this option on many cars. This is for actually some helps for the DTC that you already have, some work support that you might need to diagnose the car when you have any fault code. I will explain this one in another video when I'm doing the function test. Let's go to try some other systems. ABS is for uh, uh, anti-lock braking system. If I select this one, exactly the same strategy when you are checking the brake system. If you, check, if you click on the ABS, see, you have uh, same functions. Reading the fault code, if I click on that, if I have any fault code, no DTC is detected. I don't have any fault code right now. For reading the live data, ECU input signals. So see battery voltage, uh, front left wheel speed sensor, front right, rear right, and rear, uh, uh, rear actually left hand and right hand lift wheel speed sensors and a stop lamp switch. Uh, so you will have all the information here. See, this one is changing. I'm just trying to press the brake pedal. This is how your uh, live data will work. So a stop lamp switch is off. If I press the brake pedal, I have on here, it means that my brakes, brake lamp switch is working. This is how we can use the uh, live dot. Actuation test uh, for uh, all the solenoids I have in the uh, ABS uh, module and the ABS motor as well. For any of them, I can just press on the ABS motor and uh, for any of them like the ABS motor, I can click on that and activate it. Module information for that one as well and can diagnose uh, support again for some more help for diagnosing the ABS system. I have other options like the body control module, like the airbag, like the transmission. Uh, if I go for the BCM, which is body control module, uh, 
So see, after connecting to the BCM, I have again read file code, erasing the file code, data stream for uh, reading the live data for actuation test. So see, I can actuate all these options one by one. I can't go for the door lock, no monitoring. If I go for the monitoring, I will have some live data as well. So for the door lock, see, I can lock it from here. Okay, when I press this one, you see door lock as well. Do you see that? See, door is locked. Okay, I press unlock. Door is unlocked. Because sometimes you, sometimes customers is saying that the, uh, some system is not working. It could be from the switch. It could be from the actuator. So you can test it from here to make sure if it's working or not. I have other options like the rear defogger. I have the lamps. I have the wipers down here, front wiper, rear wiper. I can, I have the flusher. No monitoring. Okay. Right hand. See, I, right hand, I go for the left hand. Left hand, right hand. Okay, this is how I uh, test the flasher. And heaps of other items. Same story for all other systems. Uh, so technically for any system, the first thing you guys need to do is just to read the fault code. Uh, you can just get the health report, but if you want to uh, do actually a better diag diagnostic, you can select the systems, read the fault code, and obviously you can try to erase the fault code, and you have some more helps like reading the live data to diagnose the car. You have some other options like the special function or actuator test to help you uh, do better diagnostics. I will have, I will, uh, I will make another video to show you uh, more about the special functions and about uh, actuator tests and some other options as well. Uh, there are heaps of special functions on the cars. I try to make more videos about them so you will have all the information you guys need for to diagnose the car. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.